Well, we finally have some clearing skies and we are looking at better weather here, but we want to update you first of all on that track for Tropical Storm Dorian and Dorian has strengthened now winds up to 70 miles per hour moving northwest at 13 miles per hour. So here you see first of all this area of disorganized weather. This is now Tropical Depression Aaron. It's headed out to sea, not affecting anyone thankfully so far, but Dorian now is approaching St. Croix in the US Virgin Islands. Here's the latest track and this is what is concerning. Again, there's not a lot of confidence in this being the exact track, but you see that it now has it strengthening to a category three. So right now crossing over St. Croix and then Puerto Rico still maintaining its strength as a category one hurricane, which will only be about four miles per hour more than the winds now. Then it will go over the open warm water, gather more steam if this forecast track holds. High pressure will steer it to the west, which will steer it toward right now. It looks like Florida or areas along the southeastern U.S. mainland and would make landfall as a category three over the Labor Day holiday weekend or Labor Day. But again, there's a lot of uncertainty. A lot can happen in the next 24 to 48 hours. But if you know folks in Florida, if you have property, if you're planning a trip, have any concerns in the Bahamas, the Caribbean, Florida, now is the time to sort of perk up your ears and start making a plan. Right now, we're looking at temperatures here at home that are a little bit more summer like 78 degrees. Currently in Pittsburgh, Beaver Falls at 78. A lot of 70s around the area, still some 60s over over into the laurels and ridges so comfortable and a beautiful rest of the afternoon ahead. The rain moves out. We got quite a bit of rain as we slept overnight and then this morning now clearing skies the rest of today and all the way through most of tomorrow and Friday should be a beautiful end to the week. You see that cold front sweeping those showers through all over central Pennsylvania. Now future cast keeps us mainly in sunny skies all afternoon. Nice beautiful evening ahead lows tonight come comfortably cool in the mid to upper 50s. Tomorrow, beautiful sunshine, one of the choice days of the week, high temperature in the upper 70s. Friday, there's just a slight chance we could see a passing shower around lunchtime from a week front passing. Most of us will stay dry and then looks like a pretty nice Saturday as well. So morning rain ends now off to the east, clearing skies 78 your afternoon high. 58 is going to be your overnight low tonight under mostly clear skies. And then the seven day forecast. How about another day of sunshine and 78 tomorrow? And then on Friday, there's just a slight chance we could see a passing shower, mainly north, high of 80. Most of us won't have any rain. Saturday, beautiful, sunny 79. Sunday, a slight chance of a shower, 79. Labor Day itself, beautiful, sunny and 78. And guess what? Sunshine 82 on Tuesday. So a pretty good looking seven day forecast for us. Of course, we'll have to watch the, the path of Dorian. And then right. as always, when those systems, it could continue out into the Gulf. Sometimes it could turn north and give us inland rain. Mm -hmm. So a lot of factors coming into play. But for now, we have a good looking end of the week.